Good morning. Welcome to my kitchen where it's the only place in the house on these dreary Vermont days that it could possibly be bright enough to film this video. We're going to visit with Hoya Memoria this morning. This is one of my favorite little Hoyas and I just I don't think it gets the respect it deserves. It's one of the cheapest Hoyas that you can you can buy usually available for five dollars or less per cutting. I highly recommend this plant and I'm going to show you how to grow it um, the best way possibly. I've grown this plant before in soil and although I've done quite well with it, it eventually very quickly peters out and you will rot the roots off. At least that's been my experience. I've grown this plant in semi-hydro and if there was ever a perfect candidate for that method it would be this one right here. So I'm just growing this in a small container of hydroton with a couple of holes drilled in the bottom about an inch and a quarter above the bottom of the pot. You can see some of the roots in there and this is the healthiest memoria I have ever seen. It's covered with buds, pentacles, blooms it's it's an absolutely stunning plant. It would be impossible to have a plant any healthier than this. There's no better feeling than growing a plant, even if it's a common one, and growing it well. So this plant has gorgeous foliage and beautiful flowers that smell like butterscotch. This plant used to be called Hoya gracilis and somewhere along the line the name got changed to Memoria but I highly recommend that you seek this plant out it's easy to find and it's inexpensive and it's a great plant for uh, beginners and advanced toy growers alike and the way to grow this one if you want to have an outstanding specimen is grow it semi hydroponically water it every couple days and you can have results like this too. And I thank you for visiting with me in Hoya Memoria and I'll be back really soon with another great Hoya.